Okay, in this video, we'll show the updated subscription purchase workflow for Beacon and QPublic.net. I'll step through a couple of examples here. First one, we'll go ahead and enter this site. So I've entered the site as a public user, and I see that I've got access to some other things here if I um, want to uh, maybe purchase a subscription. So if I, I click on the comp search here, you see my access is restricted, uh, but I do have an option here to either log in or go ahead and purchase a subscription to the site. I click purchase subscription. Uh, you can see it's, um, I've got, uh, here's the available options I have for subscriptions to the site. Uh, as far as a monthly subscription, I can choose uh, which months, how many months I want to purchase. Um, or I can prepay for an annual subscription or just a 24 hour pass. Uh, this workflow is a little bit different than uh, previously where the user had to actually create an account first. This time they can actually um, choose what subscription they want and then go ahead and log in or create an account. So let's do a one month subscription. And then uh, I'll go ahead and log in here. Username or my email address. Logged in, now I can go ahead and make the purchase. Uh, this particular site is integrated with PayPal for the payment processor. We have different options that you can use for payment processors. Uh, in this case, we've got PayPal, so I would just go ahead and hit, you know, either pay now with my PayPal account or my credit card here. So I'll do pay now with my card. It's going to open the PayPal site. Oops, Put the wrong button there. credit card. And at that point I would go ahead and fill in my credit card information, make the payment, and then that would send me back to the site uh, with the uh, subscription active as soon as the payment goes through. Um, another example we have, uh, which I'll walk all the way through the process because we've got uh, uh, this on a, a test payment provider, but um, in this case uh, another site here on the QPublic side we've got um, uh, just an option to grab subscription access here right from the search page. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And so this is a new uh, subscription type we've got available where you can actually have it based on the number of records. So uh, this would be an annual subscription, but it limits the user to uh, uh, 300 parcel records that they're able to view with the subscription. So uh, let's go ahead and click purchase on that. Uh, in this case, we're integrated with, uh, with Stripe as the payment processor, so um, that in integration is actually right here. Uh, you can see I've, I've made previous um, purchases, so I've, I do have a card on file, which I could just go ahead and pay now with that. Otherwise, I can put in a card number. Um, this is in test mode here, so we're seeing some extra links for test numbers and uh, some numbers filled in. That's not normally how it's going to look in the production level, but it will all be uh, within the site, so you won't have to go out to an extra site like PayPal. Uh, to submit your payment. So let's go ahead and put in a credit card number here. And then click pay now. That's going to go ahead and process my payment and as soon as that's done I, I automatically have subscription access to the site. So I can go ahead and jump out and do a do a property search from there, you can see more options are available now that I'm logged in as a subscriber. Uh, from here, you'll also notice that we've got um, a couple things. Since I'm, it's based on the number of credits, um, I had already purchased a 120 uh, credit option. I just purchased another 300 credits, and so I've got 420 credits remaining. Um, and I can use those basically as I, as I navigate the site. And each time I look at a parcel here, you're going to see that deducts from my credits. So and I have 419 credits remaining. So it's basically each time I look at a parcel, it's deducting from those credits. And when I run out, um, I can go ahead and purchase some more. We also have an option to go to the My Account page, which is something new with this release. Um, what this does is basically takes you out to a, uh, takes a user out to a spot where they can see all of their subscriptions uh, throughout the uh, Beacon and, and QPublic.net uh, system. So um, I can go ahead and see 
you know, in this case, I've got 120 records, 190 uh, report views remaining. I can actually view my, my usage, um, which is just a list of parcels that I've actually looked at with that subscription. But this is just a nice place where I can go in and, and manage my subscriptions. I can also uh, terminate a subscription from here. Uh, I've got other options to, you know, update my credit card or my uh, account information on here. If I want to do that. Uh, if it's a, a subscription where I've got uh, several members uh, of this subscription, I can go ahead and manage those users within here. Uh, I can also view my payment history. So uh, just see uh, all my credit card transactions, every subscription that I purchased uh, in the system. I, it's just got a history of that here where I can actually see the the transactions numbers for, for each of the payment processors and so forth. So that's just a quick summary of the, the new uh, uh, subscription purchase workflow in my account pages here within the uh, Beacon and QPublic.net system.